So for this problem, we are going to be finding Q to maximize our profit. Okay, Q is the amount that we're going to be producing. So we're going to be choosing the right amount, the optimal amount that we are going to be producing to maximize our profit. So let's start. In order to find our Q, which is the amount that we are going to be producing, we need to find our total cost. So, the first step to find our total cost is to find our labor. What is our labor? Let's write our production function here. Q equals 2 square root of L and K times K. Okay? We are going to be solving for L. So, let's solve for L. The first step to solving for L is to divide both sides of the equation by 2. 2, 2. So we're left with Q over 2. Square root L times K. Now, I don't like the square root. I like to rewrite my square roots here. So I'm going to rewrite them. So it is really L by the power 1 half and K by the power 1 half. So we know that the square root of L equals L by the power 1 half. And the square root of K equals K by the power 1 half. And that's what I did right now. Now, we are still solving for L. And we got these uh, powers, half powers, over L and over K. I want to get rid of them. So I'm going to square both sides of the equation. I'm going to square this side, square this side, and when I square them, these are eliminated. Okay? So we're left with Q over 2 square L times K. Now, I want to distribute these two inside my brackets. So I'm going to do it right now square 2 square L K now I don't like this so I'm gonna simplify 2 times 2 equals 4 L times K we are <coughs> we are still solving for L so I'm gonna divide both sides of the equation by K so I can leave L by itself so I'm left with the following 4K equals L. And guess what? This is my L. I'm going to use this L to find my total cost. Okay, let me scroll down so I can get more space. I'm sure many of you had taken uh, algebra. So, do you remember in algebra when you have uh, two equations? and they represent a system of equations and you use the substitute uh, technique technique to actually solve both equations that's exactly what we're going to be doing here I'm going to, we have uh, two equations which represent a system of equations and I'm going to use the substitute to solve the equation so a total cost really equals the price of labor times labor plus the price of capital times capital now, this equation is going to be inserted here for L. Remember, two equations. We have a system equation. We're going to solve it by using the substitute technique. We were not given the price of L or the price of K. Uh, we were told that the price of labor equals PL, and the price of capital equals PK. So we don't have actual values. So let's rewrite our equation here. So L equals Q 4K plus 4K times K. And guess what? That's our total cost. We're going to be using our total cost to solve, to find our optimal production quantity, our Q. Now, we also need our total revenue. Our total revenue really equals the price of our product that we're producing 
uh, for this problem, we were not given the price of the product. We just told the price of a product equals P. So we're using P here. Times the quantity that you, that you sell. So P times Q equals how much uh, your revenues, right? OK, perfect. That's very simple. So this means that this is a total revenue. Okay. So our profit really equals our total revenue minus our total cost, right? So let's rewrite this. We know our total cost equal our total revenue equals P times Q minus our total cost PL Q square for K sorry, that's actually a minus minus PK times K. So here's our profit function. It is uh, total revenue minus total cost. Now, we're trying to maximize our profit, right? Isn't that what we're trying to do? So we're going to take the derivative with respect to Q. Uh, and once we do that, we'll find our optimal P and our optimal Q. So here's what I'm trying to do. I want to show you, like, that way you understand what I'm trying to do here. So we have <coughs> Q, right? And this is our marginal revenue. And this is our marginal cost. Where the marginal revenue and the marginal cost meet, that's our optimal Q. So that's what we're trying to find. We're trying to find <coughs> our optimal Q by finding where marginal revenue and marginal cost meet. So that's what I'm trying to do. And I'm going to take the partial derivative with respect to Q here. Okay. So normally we call this the first order condition. But anyways, this is just the derivative, okay? With respect to Q. Okay, that's what I'm, I'm doing. So let's do that. So I'm going to write PQ, PL, Q square, 4K, PK times K. I'm going to equal that to 0. Okay? So now let's take the derivative with respect to Q. Okay? So, Q has a power of 1 here, right? So I'm going to bring that down here, 1. And Q has a power of 1 minus 1, OK? Then we got PL. 4K. OK, we have this power here. We're going to bring it down here. OK, we're going to subtract 1 from that 2. Now. This is a constant here. So you know what happens when you have a constant. That really equals 0. OK. OK, so let's continue. So P, OK, 1 times 0, the power is 0, not times, but the power is 0, PL. 2 Q 1 4 K minus 0 equals 0 okay let's continue rewriting this so we have P times 1 you know Q by the power of 0 equals 1 right I think you know that PL 2 Q 4K equals 0. Let's continue. Let's rewrite this again. P minus 2 PL times Q 4K equals 0. By the way, I'm going, I'm doing it this step by step. That way you don't, you don't get lost. So we're left with P minus 2 PL 
q over 4 k equals 0. Let's do this again. We're going to simplify 1, 2. So we're left with p l q 2 k equals 0. Now, even though we were not asked to find the price that is going to maximize a profit, but we can actually find it here. The price that is going to maximize a profit equals the following. Price equals PL over Q 2K. So our optimal price that we need to charge to maximize a profit it really equals the price of labor times the quantity divided by 2K. Okay? But of course, that's not what we're trying to find here. What we're trying to find here is our optimal Q. No biggie. So let's do this. Let's find an optimal Q. I don't see any problem with this. Okay, so let's rewrite this equation one more time. PL Q to K. So let's see. We want to find, we want to uh, solve for Q, so we're going to multiply both sides by 2K, right? Of course. So we're left with P 2K equals PL over Q. Uh, let me scroll down because I'm running out of space here. And it's looking not good. Let me rewrite what I just wrote again. P. 2k equals PL over Q, right? Perfect. This is exactly so. Now we're still solving for Q. How do we do that? Let's divide both sides of the equation by PL. PL. So we're left with P over PL 2k equals Q. And guess what? That's an optimal quantity that we need to produce to maximize our profit. There it is. It's very easy, right? So what does that mean? Here's what it means, guys. Uh, so here's our Q. Here's our marginal revenue. This is a marginal cost. And that is our optimal Q and this represents this point okay that's what it means so that's our optimal Q uh, we found our optimal P our price and our optimal quantity that we need to produce to maximize our profit and that's a profit maxim maximization problem as you can see it wasn't that difficult um, you need a little bit of algebra, I mean calculus, and of course algebra, but it's no big deal. So, if you like the video, subscribe and click like. I'm going to make more videos about microeconomics. Hopefully you like them. Take care.